What up guys, good morning. Welcome back to another video here on my channel. I wanna thank you for all the support on the last video. I literally posted that like, let me see the clock over there. Almost 24 hours ago, almost 2,000 views. Appreciate all the support on the last video, but let's get into today's vlog. All right, so in today's vlog, we are getting new tires, just the rear on the U92, just some cheap accelerators. I don't wanna buy uh, all brand new 4S's because we are going to the track, hopefully with about a month after this COVID thing opens up. I think we're starting to open up, as I said last video, so I'm pretty sure we're gonna go to the track. Hopefully, hopefully in June. That's what I'm praying. So I'm just gonna get a cheap pair of accelerators for the rear so I don't have to buy a whole new set and then a whole new set again. I might as well just get some cheap tires. Just a daily drive for now. But yeah, guys, look at how bad these are. Look at those. Already, look how bad that is. Ouch. I've had these on there for about two months or so and they're already toasted, but that's what you get with a 200 tread wear tire. And that's kind of what I want to like touch upon in this video. Is a 200 tread wear tire good or bad? Or in my case, Federal RSWRs because they're a little bit cheaper. Are they good or bad? I'm going to explain that in later in the video. But yeah, come along with me on my day. I'm going to take off my wheels and I'm going to see you guys in a second. But first, let's get a cold start. Too bad, a little loud. I do have the MHD cold start reduction on my car, so it's not super, super loud. Not bad though, not bad. Right now, I'm gonna jack up the car, take off the two rear tires, load them in my mom's SUV, and we're off to the tire store. Real quick, the reason I do that, I take them off, is because it's less chance for the shop I'm taking them to to mess up, like jacking the car up or unbolting uh, the wheels. Just less chance for them to mess up. That's why I take them off myself, because I'm doing it with like careful and with uh, with care. So yeah, let's take them off, head to the tire store. All right, I got the E92 all in the air. I have it on jack stands and then i also leave the jack um under the diff just as like a third precaution but look at these tires man these things have seen better days look at that that is so bad i should have never left them this long but yeah those are bad i definitely do need alignment because obviously it's a little messed up so i'm gonna get an alignment later this week not today because this alignment is pretty messed up on the car right now but we're gonna go head to put these inside my mom's SUV, head to the tire store. They also have used tires at the tire store, so I kinda wanna see if I can get two 19 inch tires for my stock wheels. So I have another set of wheels, just in case I wanna put on the United 2 Cause my stock wheels look pretty, pretty sick. Not even gonna lie. So yeah, I still use my mom's SUV. See you guys at the tire store. All right, so we made it to the tire store. We're actually in the back of the tire store right now. They have all these used tires, and some of them are like brand new. Like, look at this. I mean, that's really not that bad, and it's used. They're all 20 bucks each, and sometimes you can get a good steal back here by just doing this. So I'm gonna look around and see if I can find maybe a used tire, and then we're gonna head out. Already dropped off my wheels over at the front. They're gonna get them on. Hopefully don't scratch them. Please, please, please don't scratch them. But yeah, I'll just get in the vlog when we pick them up. All right, pulling back in the tire store. Let's pray these things are not scratched. I'll let you guys know in a sec. Ooh, the Aston Martin. That's a nice Aston Martin. Sheesh. All right, let's pick them up. Hopefully they're not scratched. All right, got the new tires on there, brand new. They actually gave me hand cooks for a deal. They said they're gonna give me Acceleras, which are kind of like not good, but these are super good, hand cooked B12s for the same price. So I scored on these, those old ones. They did not scratch the wheel, so I'm super stoked. Let's get these home, get them out to the car. I'm super happy I scored on the two. Actually expensive tires. He said they're like $500 for two of them, but we got for 240, so that's super sick. Super stoked on that, let's load them up. Ah, I think they're heavier. Who's a good girl? Oh, good. We're all good. Man. Happy girl. Look guys, this is my dog. Look at her, she's so cute. What do you say? 
Yeah, I'm keeping my old tires fit for if like one of the guys want to uh, drift on them. Look at my dog. Bro, you're so cute. All right, let's go. Dude, this thing is goals. Oh, it's a V12. Sheesh. V12 Aston. Dude, guys, weird sequence in today's video. The car in front of us is my first car. Like, that is my first, that was the same one. It's the same license plate. I have no idea who owns it now. But look at that is my very first car. It's the same one, a Hyundai XG350 right there. Little thing. Dude, that has memories right there. That's crazy. All right, I had to share that, I just saw that. Bye, might never see you again. Dude, that's crazy. That's like my first car, like. Uh, if I kept that car, you imagine how much money I'd have saved up right now, but no, modifying cars is way more fun. All right, so we made it back home with the new tires. These are the tires, brand new hand cooks. I got hooked up on these, as I said in the last clip. I, they said there's gonna be 240 for Acceleras, which I was just gonna burn off, you know? But these are hand cooks, they're, they were 239 a piece, he said, but he gave them to me for 240 for both of them, which is sick, because obviously these bad boys are done. These are much nicer, they're much safer in the rain too, as you guys see in the grooves, because it's been raining actually in California last week or so. Also, this is a 200 treadwood tire. That's one of the reasons why it demolished so fast, because it's just a super soft compound. And this is 500 treadwear, so I think I'm gonna daily this and uh, and this have this tire when I go to the track, I'll use a uh, 4S, throw that on this wheel, then when I get back home, I'll throw this back on, because this is gonna last probably a long time since it is a 500 treadwear tire. But as I said in the beginning of the video, I kinda wanted to explain is a cheap 120 something dollar Federal RSWR, a good attire for the money because it is super cheap. I mean, you go get a pair of uh, Cup 2s and it's like $1,400 for a set depending on what size you get, or a 4S, which is gonna be like 1100 set for a set, which is crazy. I mean, they're fantastic tires, so it's a lot of money. So these are a pretty good, cheap solution, but are they worth the money? So in my opinion, let me go grab one real quick. This Federal tire, right here, has done me seriously no wrong. I love this. This is a Federal RSWR. Yes, they are quickly, they go down, they really lose their, uh, what do you call this? Wow, I am having a mind blank. They go bald really quickly is what I'm saying, but this has definitely been a really good tire. It's crazy sticky. I've had no issues with that. It's very sticky, it's very cheap, and they look sick. I mean, the tread wear is super sick. Obviously, you can't really see it much anymore, but you get the point, it goes like this. Super sick. Do I recommend them? 100%. Are they worth it? 100%. I got a few months out of them, or a couple months, however long it's been, and they have been seriously super good. Are they good in the rain? Absolutely not. Do not drive these in the rain because you will die. Um, I'm like kind of kidding, but not really kidding. I mean, they're really dangerous in the rain. I was coming home from Los Angeles, and it was pouring rain, and I literally had to go 20 miles an hour on the freeway with my hazards on in rain. So that was very scary. So don't get caught in the rain with these, but for like a track or just a back road or a set of like, you know, grip tires, these are great, great options, super cheap. I don't, maybe they won't be as good as the um, Cup 2s or the Potenzas or whatever you got. They might not be as good, but for the money, it's definitely, definitely a good grip tire. But the car right now does have these still on the front because those the fronts are nowhere near as bad as this. And these, I just needed a rear tire. I got hooked up for these. So I'm gonna throw these bad boys on the E92. As you guys see, it's on jack stands. I'm gonna throw these on, um, and hopefully they will go on nicely, and hopefully they will be enough grip for what I do, which is pretty much daily drive. So we'll see. But let me throw you guys on a time lapse, get these bad boys back on the car. Sorry about the wind noise, but they're on. Brand new hand cooked tires for the 92. As I said, these are still the same thing. They have plenty of life left. Maybe not plenty, but they have life left. So yeah, those are on. Sorry about the wind. These are on. They don't look that much different. <laughs> I guess they do, but not really. You know what I'm saying. 
I'm using the tire as a tripod. All good? We're all good. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It's a vlog style video. Not much going on. I just want to explain. I think that Federal RS Double R's are fantastic tires. I've had Super Sports. I've had Potenzas. These honestly compare. These are really nice. I actually hate Prellies. Oh, my phone. I actually hate Prelli P Zeros. I had them on the E92 when I first got it. They suck. I had them on my 370Z. I don't like them personally. I just don't like them. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. today's video. It's a vlog style video. Real quick announcement. If you own a BMW that you possibly want to do a feature film with me, I live in between San Francisco and Los Angeles. That's where I live, in between on the coast. If you want to hit me up, uh, maybe we can meet up halfway or something. Do a feature film for the channel. I think it'd be sick. I do want to feature the BMW people on there. Get other people involved in the channel, not just my E92, because, you know, it's going to get boring. But do have a new car coming. Hopefully in the summer. We will see. But, yeah, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I definitely recommend Federal R's Double R tires. They're A1. But, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. We are at 3,100 subscribers. We just keep climbing, climbing, climbing. But I think when I was getting my tires, my girlfriend did a couple outros and a couple clips. So I'm going to throw that in the blooper reel at the end of the video. If you want to stick around, check out my girlfriend, do her blooper reel. I think she did. She tried to do my outro um, in the car before we got here. She tried to do my outro. So that's kind of funny. So I might throw that in right now. So, all right. But as always, hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for the next video. Peace out. Take two. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Oh, do you want to be in there? No, you can do it. You oh. don't, don't Thank you guys for watching today's video. Be sure to like if you like the video. Um, leave a comment. You guys so much Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Be sure to give it a like if you liked it. <laughs> Take number three. <laughs> don't put did it in their mind. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe, comment down below. We're at 3,100 subscribers. Keep up the positivity. Roll it. Peace out. Thanks for Peace subscribe. out. Slam it. Slam it. <laughs> Lynn. Lynn, we're closing out the video, girl. Come here. Ryla. Come. Ryla. Pe Say bye, Ryla. Ryla. Peace out. <laughs> We're going to try that again. Peace. Ryla. Come here. Ryla. Peace out. Just like that, we're ending the vlog. <laughs>